I am going to do a quick cup um, today. And I've mixed up a bunch of colors. Um, and I've got now a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I need to remember to put the silicone in the colors. So real quick, let me put that out front so I don't forget. I have a tendency to forget that. Okay, so I won't forget. Um, so these colors are very similar. Um, maybe like 70% the same as um, another flip cup I did that I really liked. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna try and make another one because um, I just really liked the way it came out. And so let me tell you what we've got. And um, I'll, I'll try and put a link to the other video so you can compare the two afterwards. So anyway, um, so I've got two cups of white, and this is the Artist Loft um, Flow Acrylic White. And I've mixed everything today with uh, glue and water. The ratio is 60% glue to 40% water, approximately. And I pre-mix, I use Elmer's Glue All which where I put my jug. Um put that somewhere. Oh, it's right behind me. So this is what I use, the Elmer's glue wall. And just tap water. We have really good tap water here where I live, so I don't use distilled or anything. Um, the next color is the Naples yellow, and that's this one, and that's an Amsterdam paint, so it's kind of a light creamy yellow, and then I did a brown mixture. This is a little different brown than what I did in my last version of this. Um, so this one is it's Metallic Paint Collection by Modern Masters, and the color is Antique bra uh, Bronze, and it's a satin finish. And I mixed in that, about two parts of that to about one part of this Arteza Burnt Sienna. And I really only added this because um, the metallic paint's a little thin compared to the others, and I mixed the median in one to one and it seemed a little bit like a little bit more fluid so I added some of this to thicken it up a little and it's a similar shade but um, so it's it's a metallic for the most part and um, nice shade of brown I'm also having trouble a lot of these paints seem kind of lumpy I've been stirring and stirring <laughs> so hopefully I won't have too many lumps on the canvas we'll see this one is um, kind of a charcoal that's 50% white and 50% black. And it's the same Artist Loft white, and then I use the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. So, and then you just kind of end up with this pretty gray. Okay, and then I have another white. And then this is the yellow ochre, which is Arteza. Um, I used up the pouch, so this one's going in the trash. Um, but it's kind of a, it's definitely a yellow, but it's it's got um, kind of a um, brown undertones maybe, or um, an Arteza paint is super thick. This has a lot more, lot more of the median than the, the others, and it still feels thick. And I used this color on the last, the last project that I did that was similar to this. And then um, the other painting I did had just had black, and then it had a um, a darker shade of um, the gray. That was, I think it was a darker shade. Anyway, um, this time I used the Arteza Arteza Silver. Um, so that's what this color is. So yeah, um, it's debating. I have a little bit of um, this. 
this is um, some color art um, primary elements that I mixed up for my last couple projects. I have a little bit of this and I thought it might look pretty in here. It's just got a little bit of a red. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I've got actually have two of them. Um, I'm gonna maybe open this up and mix it. I might need to mix in a little bit of, I wonder if I can mix in glue with it. I don't know, never thought of that. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty runny. I'll just use it like this. Actually, I think that'll look really pretty. I'll try and look up the color for you guys. It's in, um, I'm not very good about labeling my colors once I mix them up, if I store them. I used to try and label everything and then it got confusing if, if I started reusing containers or um, sometimes what I'd write would like um, get smeared. You couldn't read it anyway. <laughs> so, or, you know, I'd use them up the next day. So it's like, okay, what was the point? But now I kind of sometimes wish I would label them a little bit better. Um, so yeah, but this is mixed up in the um, style of a bloom paint. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. This one's got. I think it's actually made with the um, the vivid enamel and the polyacrylic mix. So so yeah, we'll do that. And let me grab some cups to pour in or flip it. I'm gonna use these clear cups because I think it's kind of fun to see see what's going on. So I'm gonna do four. Um, so let me put the silicone in. This is just the Artist Loft silicone. Nothing special about it. One of these days I wanna try the spot on silicone that everyone talks about. Putting five drops in each which is probably about a drop for every 40. Well, those last few came out in streams, so it might be a little bit, a little bit much, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm gonna give them all a stir. Probably do it as I start pouring in. I'm gonna start down here. And stir that up. Okay. Now, I have no recollection of what order I poured everything in last time. So, I mean, this is gonna turn out very different, but I really like the color combo, so. Hope you guys do too. So I think everyone's familiar with flip cups, but basically you layer the paints. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to kind of keep them exact. You can, you can be a little sloppy about it. Um, but the idea is to keep all the paints about the same consistency if you can. These are probably a little bit on the thicker side, but I say that and then they probably be when I pour them out, but let's see.
use the rest of this now. It was a really pretty color in my last pour. It's really pretty. I actually accidentally made up too much. That's why I have a bunch left. Um, I was mixing colors and um, I'd already mixed this color and I was starting on the next one and I just grabbed the, the wrong jar and put a scoop in and went, ooh, I already mixed that one. So we ended up with a little bit extra, but it was okay because I like this color. Yeah, I have no idea how well that's gonna work with uh, with the glue and with the other paints mixed in glue. Okay, so now we'll add a little more white to each of these. saw a lump go in. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use a little of this white because I want a little more white. Then. Okay. Um, And I think I'm gonna mix it up a little here. Do two yellow, light yellows and two ochres. And we'll do some brown. I think I have enough paint this time. I uh, hope so. Okay. Um, got a little bit of this left. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these, and then I'll get everything out of the way, and we'll. we'll uh, See what we what we're gonna get here. Let me. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do this. I like to. So these will go this way, and these will come this way, and it'll change it up a little bit. So yeah, I'll be right back. We are ready to go. Let's see how this goes here. Let me get my angle going. So, oh my goodness. I hope this goes. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Now I can see the, um, that kind of metallic-y red that we use the um the pigment one kind of interesting yeah i like that um okay i'm gonna do this one and then i'll turn the canvas around there ah, that's not what i wanted to do dang it darn it <laughs> okay i'm just messing that up see See, I show you my mess ups because that way you'll know that it's okay not to get it perfect, you know? Still comes out pretty, yeah? Okay, so this is really cool, like really, really cool. I can tell I have a lot of paint. I um, 
I mean, I could almost feel like it was going to end up in my lap if I, anyway. <laughs> ah. So yeah, I kind of messed up this area here. I should not have dribbled there, but we'll, uh, we'll figure something out here. So much for having four lines, a little bit. Okay, making some of the cells pop out a little. Okay, I'm gonna, we're just gonna work on this a little bit side to side. And and I'm gonna turn it around real quick. And whoa. So much paint on this, wow. Without wasting it, but let's see. That end. There we go. Okay, I still need to turn it around and, and finish up on this side, but I'm gonna go this way just a little because there's a couple of big areas that I don't really care for that I'm gonna try and work their way off there. Okay. So far, yeah, so far I really like this. It's definitely very different than the last one I did. I think by adding that red and not using black, kind of get a different look, so. Okay, let's turn it around one more time. First figures I go over this corner and it's still not covered, but <laughs> never fails. For some reason the corners like you, you think you're you think you're off of them and then boom. And so Bring it back down. And I can definitely see the um, the glue medium mixing with the the other um, bloom paint. You can see some of the weird results that you get. But I still really like it, so I think we're good. Okay, so the corners need a little bit of 
feet. So. Yeah. I don't know, guys, what do you think? I really like the colors on this one. It's kind of got like a very earthy feel to it. So, really like it. We will, uh, I'll bring you down and let you guys see it. Um, so, give me just a few minutes. We'll be back with you. Okay, this is the finished painting right here, guys. I think it's really, really super pretty. Really, really like it. So, yeah, I hope you guys like that too. Okay guys, um, I decided to use up these paints, or attempt to use them up, by doing a couple more tiles. I'm having a lot of fun with these tiles. I'm gonna do just a regular swipe on them. I haven't actually done any tiles yet that are made with the regular blue mixed up paints. Mostly it's just been um, blue paints that I've done, so I'm gonna try this. I don't know how it's gonna go, but let's give it a try on these tiles. Um, so I was pretty much out of the brown. There's just a tiny bit left. Really not enough to to work on. And I didn't have any more of the um, this reddish uh, metallic-y dark wine color. Um, so I had this um, burnt orange, semi-opaque. It's also the same brand as what the brown was. It's the Metallic Paint Collection Satin Finish Modern Masters. And so I mixed up some of it. So it's kind of like a, almost like a pumpkin or a peach, dark peach. I made up a little more white. And other than that, it's pretty close to what we had before. So I'm gonna put a base of white on each of these just to kind of, and it's just, this is pretty thin. This isn't like a bloom paint at all. This is definitely more like um, if you were doing like a Dutch pour kind of style. And I'm going to spread the paint out. My spatula. There it is. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see all this. I'm gonna just spread this on. on these just to give it a nice base of white. Because this isn't really meant to be a tilt as much. It's more just gonna be a swipe to do here. I'm gonna um gosh what am I gonna do? I'm gonna probably just do some different I'm not gonna I'm gonna be it's not gonna be too right weirdly drizzled. I think I'm gonna a little more purposeful, I guess, be the way to put it. Um, so, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little more purposeful, we'll see. Um, I don't want too much gray, but okay. Um, do silver, and then I'll do the ochre. So this this paint is the sixty forty blue mix. Um, for the median, and then um, silicone in each color. Yeah, let's see. 
have a feeling that orange is going to be really domineering, so we'll see. And this, this is coming out real thick. I just missed it. Okay. Um, I guess I've used everything. Okay. Um, um, I don't think I have much of this left, so I'm going to go ahead and use this up on the top. choice of doing a blue swipe or a brown swipe. Oops, I have a new brown. My new brown. This is mixed with Clotrol, so I call it kind of like an activator, but this is what I use with my swipes. Um, I also have some white, which might be cool. Um, but I think the brown is going to be the best choice because I didn't have brown this time when I made these, but um, yeah, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a layer. Let's try one of them. Let's see what happens here. Actually, let me do this. That is just gonna go right off. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, that'll work. I think that'll work. I'm gonna move this one down here. And I think I might switch to a different um, swiping tool than, the, than my spatula. I think I'm gonna use this. Let's see. And all the, I put some color on the end right here, but I'm gonna. didn't work out so well either. Alrighty, let's go on to the next one. I'm gonna, let's see, I'll use some of my acetate. Just why, that's what I use. I just gotta find it. So I have a bunch of cut up pieces here. Kind of a mess, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try this. Just, you know, trying out stuff, right? <laughs> Okay, let me move this one where I can get to it. And okay. Yeah, I like that. I like this. Now, something about the weight of this acetate that is just easier to work with, I think. And it kind of falls into the paint, but not too heavy. That lets you glide it across the top. So we'll see. We'll see if that works out better. So, so far, I haven't touched these really. I haven't tilted them or anything. And they're, they're kind of popping up pretty cool. Okay, got one more to go. Let's see. And then I might, I'm gonna, you know, maybe torch them and, and tilt them slightly, but we'll see. Okay. So there's a big area it looks like I missed on that one.
funny, I'm getting cells on my paper towel <laughs> over here. Um, so, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, so, I think I need to, I think I need to do this one just a little more because of that big area there. And I'm going to just put a little bit of some color here just to kind of break up that gray. Let, let me um, torch these and then maybe tilt them a little. That one's got a big spot. Hang on a minute. Let me, um, do that one. Okay. change them up too much, but I want to make sure that the edges I like these better than the one I just messed with. So, what am I gonna do about that? Because I feel like I have a little too much paint on here, but I really don't wanna, I like the cells that are there, and I kinda messed them up on this one. So I wonder if I can do it a little slower and just gently go. Too much paint. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, those are pretty. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave those two. Um all around it. So let's see, here's the tiles we did. So those came out really cool too. Um, this is the one I, I didn't tilt this lot, this one in the corner at all, but uh, yeah, I think those are gonna be cool. Um, with a little resin and um, some cork on the back, I'll make them into coasters. Um, I think everyone's getting these for Christmas, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button and the like button or the little like um, hand. Thanks, bye.